Hello, how are you doing today? Well, you know, I'm surprised about all these people that can speak out about this um, corona and about immunization and oh yeah, and they're now coming out with scientific information about this pandemic. Oh my goodness, people made a mistake. Making a mistake. Why? Because they didn't have enough information. All of a sudden, the information is coming out. And many people on YouTube are giving you the information that used to be false medical information. False medical information. Now, all of a sudden, some of these people like the Dark Horse Podcast and others are, e are able to present with people that were banned from YouTube before. But now, oh, it's right medical information and it's scientific. Well, are we still pushing the narrative? that science is the god of this world? Are we still pushing that narrative? And that everybody else in this world has to bow down to what science is saying? Or are there people maybe that also have a clear head and are realizing when things are not right? Do I really need to have... a, a facts because sometimes it's just enough that you have a gut feeling that something is wrong okay but then it's my gut feeling it's not medical advice of course not then it cannot be seen as false medical advice when i state clearly hey i have this gut feeling there's something wrong here something something is not right because there are people who have that, uh, what do you call it, gift? That they know they don't need to even need to have the facts in front of them. But they have this gut feeling that something is wrong. There's a lot of people like that. And they should not be discredited. Should not be discredited. Why? Because a lot of damage has been done. A lot of damage has been done. Two years now, all of a sudden, we have all this information that we should have had at the beginning. Oh, wow. And now the damage is done and it continues to be done. It's not over. It's not over. But these people are coming out and telling us, oh, maybe natural immunity is good. I don't want to say better because, oh my goodness, that is not scientific. Of course it's scientific. We have enough now, enough research to show how important and how uh, valuable natural immunity is. Even Fauci is coming out right now and say, hey, we need to get over this. We will, we will get it. We will get it and we'll get over it. Why? Because natural immunity is what he is saying is what is now uh, kicking butt with this with this virus. That's what he's saying. You have to get used to it. We're going to get it. This vaccine is not protecting us. That is what everybody is saying. Every medical journal is saying that. Every expert, every uh, you know CDC, who knows who it is, they're saying it. We might as well get used to it because we're not protected with this vaccine. Okay? Now, did we know that from the beginning? Well, we didn't. Factually. But, hey, they didn't go through tests either to know. Wouldn't you think when you put something in your body, you should know how it reacts? Shouldn't you? And now all of a sudden people are not trusting these vaccines anymore. Come on. Do you have any idea why? Do you have any idea why? 
all of a sudden people uh, less likely to trust these vaccines in general. I'm going to use every word today that I can use. Why? Because I have been uh, censored I don't know how many times because I spoke my opinion. I'm not an expert in medical, uh, <coughs> anything medical. I'm really only an expert in the Bible. And when it comes to Bible, we should be able to have religious freedom in this country. But yes, I do know, I understand that YouTube is not really checking out. Um, they don't have the manpower to check things out. I understand that. I understand that my videos were taken down because somebody reported me. And YouTube never ever made the attempt to actually check my videos out if they're really built on false medical advice. Yeah, where is now the medical information? Yeah, I see YouTube is bringing out the right medical information now. But what did they bring out before? What did they bring out before? Any attempt to come up with the truth was snuffed out. You know, and those people that continue to do the medical research, despite of them being banned from channels like YouTube, now I finally have the scientific proof. Scientific proof? Okay, we have the scientific proof now. Why am I still banned now. Just a couple of weeks ago, again, I have been censored. One of my videos has been censored. It's not because I'm giving false medical advice, because I'm saying, hey, don't put something in your body that you don't know how it's going to react. Yeah, that's why. That's how far I go. I don't know how it reacts. I can only read medical journals or listen to medical experts to know how it really does. But hey, well, don't read anything is not going for me either. Because there's going to be other platforms that are bringing the truth. And they have been bringing the truth. While YouTube just totally, a total lockdown of all truth. Now all of a sudden, oh my goodness, they're coming out with the truth, like through this a Dark Horse podcast. Yeah, this Brett Weinstein is now allowed to interview all these medical experts that were banned from YouTube before. Why? You know, Brett Weinstein or Weinstein. I like the guy. Okay, I like the guy. He's pretty neat. I like to listen. I like to listen to Heather more than him, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Why now? Why now? And everybody else was banned, or well, everybody else was censored. Why? Because they're still controlling the information. I know Brett Weinstein only is allowed to say as much as he. As he does. And then he makes excuses. Oh, honorable error. Honorable error, really. An error is honorable? An error is not honorable. And they didn't make any errors. They knew what they were doing. They knew they didn't have enough information when they uh, gave everybody this shot. They knew they didn't have enough in information. And they had enough to know that they knew that it has uh, uh, adverse side effects. They knew it. And now that the cat is out of the sack, 
Yeah. Now what? Are you going to make amends to those people that YouTube has harmed? Are they making amends? I want to know. They're making amends. I've talked about that before, but hey, my last video didn't get to YouTube either. Maybe I should report myself. Maybe I should report myself. Yeah, I'm glad that finally YouTube is really sharing the truth, even though you know they're only sharing this much truth, right? I don't know how much 80%, that's what usually um, we are allowed to see, and then the rest we're not allowed to see, which is pretty sad. You have to go again to other platforms to find that. It's all sad. It's all sad. Especially YouTube being part of this. Yeah, I'm going to call it a plot. I'm going to call it a plot. Now, what is a plot? It's when people work together to harm others. Who did YouTube work for? For the government. So they did work together. And wh where, who did, where did the government uh, uh, get his plan from to leave people in the dark? Well, they're saying, well, now they're coming out with this medical information, with this scientific information. People, I am almost certain they had this, some or at least some of this medical information before. Even if they didn't have it, you don't do that to a population, world population. You don't inject something in people knowing, knowing it will harm them or knowing it doesn't do any good. Knowing that we don't know what's going to happen with this stuff in their body. And who really knows what's in these little shots? Who knows? We're still researching. Yes, science still research to find out what is really in these little things. Oh, we, we're not even supposed to be talking about that right now, do, do we? Yeah, well, what is it supposed to be? MRNR uh, immunization? Well, we know that it's not immunization. We know it's a technology. Okay? Please, we don't even have to talk about that right now. We don't have to call it and immunization because it's not. It's a technology. It's a technology. It's not what we used to have when we got immunized. Yeah, the truth will come out eventually, but we only give the population so much truth that they're still in the dark. I read some of the comments and one of the ladies says, I can't follow this. Yeah, it's probably those people that just blindly followed uh, 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 mainstream media. Because they don't understand. They don't understand scientific stuff. Jargon. That's why. Because they're all of a sudden waking up. All of a sudden, after they got the fourth booster, the third booster... Now they're waking up. After it's too late almost. Yeah, it's okay. Now we can tell them, oh, we made a mistake. And who supported that mistake? Who covered up that mistake? Who covered up the mistake? Who covered up the mistake? But yeah, I was censored. Matter of fact, I'm still most likely shadow banned. I have very few viewers, and still people are after me. I not even sometimes have a hundred viewers in my on my videos, and I'm still targeted. Still targeted. I would like to know why. I don't give out false medical advice. 
don't give out false medical advice. If I speak, I speak about my faith. My faith only. And my faith and my belief in God tells me something different. And that needs to be respected in this country. Because we have medical and religious freedom in this country. In other words, I can choose what kind of medical method I want to use to heal myself. Now, if you call faith medical, okay. Okay, but it's part of what you can choose. And you know what YouTube has on its thing? That prayer is not one of the things you can use to heal yourself. Unless they have taken it off. Unless they have taken it off. That's what YouTube believes. Prayers will not help you. That's not... You cannot give that advice. Of course, if you say it's not medical advice, that's fine. I have no problem with that. I understand very well that prayer, okay, we may not use as medical advice. But then stick to it, YouTube. If prayer is not medical, then leave it out. Then leave it out. Prayer is not a medical solution. Leave it out of medical. Because then it's something different. It's spiritual advice. And yes, I can go by that. And maybe there's a distinction also between healing and medical. I have talked about that in one of my videos before. Okay? So maybe we need to distinguish between medical and healing. There's a variety of healing methods. And medical is not the only one. In other words, medical like we have the medical establishment today. Medical as in pharma. It's not the only healing device we have. We have natural healing. We also have prayer that is healing. Okay? So maybe we have to distinct, make a distinction. Somebody wants medical advice, they need to go to a doctor. Okay? If they want to trust the medical system, they need to go to the doctor, to the priest of the medical uh, establishments. Because that's what it is. They are the priests. They're the gatekeepers of the medical apparatus. You want that? Go. I will not give you any advice in that field at all. Not at all. Matter of fact, even when it comes to natural healing, I have to look it up with experts who actually have expertise in natural healing. I can only tell you what the Bible says. When it comes to healing, Yes, of course, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit, that God is the healer. He is the ultimate healer. God alone made our body beautiful so it can function. And yes, it breaks down once in a while. And yes, it's determined to die. Absolutely. That's what the, uh, the, the Bible says about our body. That we are wonderfully made, that our immune system is wonderfully fully made. And you know what? 6,000 years have proven that. 6,000 years. Well, and that is biblical history. It's not world history. But at least for 6,000 years, humankind has survived Every virus that can... You think we're just getting viruses lately? Come on. Viruses have been around since the creation of humankind. Matter of fact, viruses have been around before, long before humankind. If you listen to a developmental biologist. 
or ev uh, evolutionists. Viruses have been around all the time. And human beings were created within this viral load. And they survived at least for 6,000 years, according to the Bible. They survived. And you know what? The hygiene wasn't as good as it is today. For the past, I mean, 100 years maybe we had, maybe not even, we had better hygiene than ever. And we all know, medically speaking, that hygiene is important for health. And people lived in the dirt with animals most of the time, surrounded by every virus you can think of. And yes, a lot of them died early, like in the 40s or, you know, some lived longer, depending. When you look at the Bible. But one thing is for sure that we survived. Humankind as a whole survived. We don't have to live. We only have, you know, the Bible says we only have 120 years. Yeah, we don't even live up today to 120. Why? Because the world is toxic. We may have hygiene today, but the world is extreme toxic. So, yeah, that's why we don't live at least 100 years, like some people in the olden days. But when we're talking about medical advice, people need to go to medical experts. I go to medical experts if I want medical advice. You have to read medical journals. Yeah, scientific journals. There's researchers that do the research. But again, we have an innate gut feeling. When I know something is not right, I better check it out. I better don't have somebody tell me, oh, no, you cannot check it out. And thank God these uh, scientists didn't just sit on their little tushy and say, oh, no, we're not going to check it out because YouTube doesn't want us to check it out. Or our government. But it's too late anyways. It's too late. Well, maybe for some people it isn't. It is good to get the information out there. And again, don't come to my channel because I don't have medical advice. If you want to know something about the Bible, come to my channel. People, those people that think they had to take this, well, now I hope you're going to go out to YouTube and you find out, go to uh, Dark Horse Podcast. And see what Brett Weinstein has, you know, gathered. The information Brett Weinstein has, has gathered. And then ask yourself why YouTube was preventing that um, at first. Yeah, at first, for the past two years. Now you can't prevent it because other platforms have preached it have presented it, have shared it. Now all of a sudden, oh yeah, well let's share some of it. No, we don't want to share everything. We're still going to have to say, oh, they did an honorable error. An honorable error. I, that was really a horrible statement. Honorable error. Well, now I know why he's still on YouTube. You don't make honorable errors. An error is never honorable. Yeah, Mary, an, an, an error can happen, but we have to apologize. There's no excuse. I'm coming to an end right now. This is supposed to be a short video. I just needed to say this with this false medical advice crap.
It's about time that YouTube changes his guidelines. It's about time. Yeah, I understand you don't want somebody to spread false medical information. But hey, if that is one of the guidelines, please check them personally and see if that is really true. Not when somebody says, oh, maybe there's something wrong. Maybe YouTube, you guys, you know, the experts need to check it out. Not take their thing off. No, my videos have been taken down because YouTube did not make the effort to personally check my videos out. Even when I asked. Matter of fact, there was times when I didn't even have a chance to say, please check my videos. And they didn't. Why? Because they already had me on their list. Because they already had me on their list. And thank God I'm on Bitchoot. Thank God. Anyways, I'm coming to an end. Yes, I'm kind of upset. Kind of upset because the truth is coming out right now. The truth that I've been warning of. And I only warned. I didn't give false medical advice. I warned. Anyways. Yes, should I say again, uh, uh, natural immunity. Praise natural immunity. Should I say it again and again and again and again? Because I think that was one of my videos that was taken down. Yeah? Because I said how important natural immunity is. I can't tell you in detail what immunity is. I just know it functions very well. And God made it. God made it. Not evolution. God made it. Now, if you don't believe that, is that false medical advice? Because I say that our immunity is created by a creator purposely. Purposely. Oh, it's not like, oh, like a hocus pocus thing. And you know what? Nowadays, these scientists, they want to temper with our immunity. They think they can recreate it. Okay? Something that God has created beautifully. Oh, they want to recreate. So they can be in charge. So they can control humankind. Oh no, they, they, they want to do it for the betterment. It doesn't matter. Natural immunity is something wonderful and we have to be thankful to the creator for that natural environment, uh, in, in, in immunity. Coming to an end, really. Let the Holy Spirit guide.